In today's video, can we continue our great push against the history and perhaps turn our eyes towards the Liberni? Whilst also continuing our push against the Dardanians to try and take them out before turning then towards either the Scordisci or the Thracians. Well, stay tuned to find out, guys. And if you are enjoying this series, a like and a subscribe would be massively appreciated. It does really help the channel out. But without further ado, let's get into the video. Hi guys, welcome back. I am Red Zed and today we are continuing our campaign as the RDAI in RTR Imperium. So Rectum, last time we have marched north into the Dardanian lands. Well, I guess it's northeast. It's kind of, yeah, northeast towards the Dardanians. We have also continued our push. I believe we declared war on the history last time. We have continued our push against them here. Hopefully they're going to abandon this siege. But honestly, I really don't know. It's, it's going to be tight. Maybe they will take this settlement, which will be very annoying. Because that is quite a large army. Now, there's a couple of things that I have done in between episodes. Firstly, guys, I have gone around and turned every settlement onto low tax rate. But apparently, that's, that's weird. I could have sworn maybe I missed a couple. <laughs> <laughs> That's rather embarrassing. But yeah, I believe everyone should be on low tax rate. I might check that again later. <laughs> Maybe I started some way up the list, but I can't really remember. I mean, all of these guys are on low. But anyway, it's not important now. We'll do that later. Uh, just because we are so scrabbling for population growth as well. Secondly, what I want to do is I want to pay respects to glorious Areto Damos here with his three gold chevrons, his ten influence. And he is so influential that uh, Patavium is going to be renamed. So if we double click on that, we are going to call it Areto Damon. Is it uh, E-I or is it I-E? We shall check that. It is I-E. Oh, god damn. <laughs> So, errors everywhere in the start of this, guys. Errors everywhere. Array to Darmon. That is going to be the new name, and that is going to be sort of a uh, pivotal city. Now, the third thing that I have done is I have had a look around at our recruitment situation, because I know I've been banging on about it, but I don't want to bang on about it forever. So, what we have, really, is we have, we have Greek... Uh, recruitment in Eption, Salona, and Trigurion, as well as Nerona over here, which is expanding. Plurio Pop, uh, Pluripolis, Epidauros is also Greek, and Rhizon also, as well as Dawason, are all recruitment areas that can be used for recruitment too. So basically, this coast all the way down here is a recruitment area, predominantly recruiting Greek units and AOR Southern Illyrian units. Now, in the north, we have a cluster of three minor cities. And thinking about it, how, uh, however rich these settlements can be, it would be very dumb of me to ignore the fact that they can pop out some pretty nice units, some pretty nice Celtic units, Scordisci units, uh, and also are going to get to large city because of their great growth before many of the other settlements in our realm so it would be stupid to ignore the fact that we need to upgrade Singadunon, um, Akumikon, Akumincon and Sermion up here which we are actually going to rename um, uh, after maybe Agron at some point because he is the one that has fought up here but yeah we're gonna rename a few settlements too we also want to rename something uh, about um, Bardalis as well, because he has been a very good commander for us. Probably the uh, the Laburni capital, if it comes to that. But we shall see. But I think we are at the end turn. So, yes, I waffled on again at the start of an episode, guys. But, of course, it is all for good reason. So, let's end the turn there, guys. And let's see what happens with these settlements and all that sort of jazz. And there we go. For some reason, the history are attacking us here, which, yeah... Um, it's really, really weird and very annoying. I don't know why. I really don't know how they are, you know, bordering. It must be here, but I thought that was to Feltria. 
I suppose still here and they're not going to protect that. Well, anyway, that's fine. We've got a brand new army on the way. So we're just going to auto resolve that. We inflicted 12 casualties. Glorious. That's what we like to see. But there goes the history. And there goes the Illyrian Kingdom. They have once again declared war on us. Thank you for that, guys. Very clever. It's always worked out for you in the past, hasn't it? Well, an exceedingly interesting end turn there. We lost this settlement. They have come and sieged down Altenum with a tiny army, which is very strange. We are going to just auto-resolve this one quickly. We will probably play that next battle. There we go, 30 men. Oh, we did actually lose one of the uh, Silver Experience Hoplites. That's a little bit annoying. Let's just occupy this, though. And we're going to use these ships if we can get out of the way of the history. There we go. Yep, yeah, we did manage to get out of the way. We actually don't have a port down here at the moment. So, yeah. Interesting. Probably going to just play that without the help of this army. I'm going to send this army up that way. I'm going to take them a couple of turns. That's fine. So that is pretty much everything done in the north apart from this siege, which we will do separately. Little Bernie at the moment look a bit confused. Don't they're not really going after the history. I don't think I need this guy here anymore, seeing as uh, we can see this area. I am very confused as to why they took this settlement though. I wonder whether that settlement isn't rebel or is there another one up here somewhere? That's the only those are the only routes through, so Hmm. I don't know. I wonder whether there's one up there. Maybe, maybe. I don't know. I don't no, I seem to remember one being in the far north of the Alps for the history when we did the Toggle Fog War, but yeah, that was, a, that was a little while ago in real time. Maybe not a while ago if you're binge watching this, but a while ago for me in real time. Also going to potentially just auto resolve that, 192. Like I say, these tiny sieges, not worth it for us to play them anymore, guys. Really not worth it to play them. So let's uh, make sure we go down. Uh, like I say, with the Dardanians, they're really... Okay, no, this is interesting. So I Darba here, for some reason, has Getae units available. We have horse archers available in this settlement. That's rather insane. Um... <laughs> I mean, we're not that far from the Getae. But what is the uh, the culture here? Yeah, it's all Thracian culture and Illyrian culture. So getting the Gete, I don't know. Maybe that is a bug. But if it is a bug, it's a fantastic one for us, let's be honest. Is that the same here in Nysos? No, Nysos is just, yeah, standard uh, southern Illyrian units here. So yeah, Nysos probably not worth building up the recruitment. It's also a city, which is fantastic for us. We do have the uh, Circle of Zoe here, though. Yeah, screw it. We're going to upgrade Nysos 2. That can go nicely with these three settlements, which are all going to become recruitment hubs. So let's make sure we uh, pop that in now while I remember. Otherwise, I will forget. I'm also going to stick that in straight away. You guys, what do we have? I mean, the Dardanians have attacked down there. That would be the border. So let's attack uh, through Natipolis over this way. And uh, go straight for that. That's probably going to be another auto-resolve. Can you get to any settlement? You can actually get to this one. So what I'm thinking is we leave you hmm, yeah, just a little bit too far away. We're going to leave you in uh, Kalegerion for the time being. There we go. Fantastic. What do we put in there? We put a Southern Illyrian Cavalry that we want to remove. So that is that area done. You guys are going to go and govern. You've got a governor there. This is making 1,400. That's making 2,000. That's making 2,700. So I think it's probably worth taking that one. We will also bring this Progemoy along then. We don't need that anymore. Good. Well, I feel like we're in a fantastic spot. Honestly, once we've taken out the Dardanians, I don't know who our target's going to be in the east. I would like some more watchtowers around our lands. Looks like they have a watchtower here, which is really going to help us out. Definitely want one over here so I can see what's going on. That or a spy. In fact, we should be able to recruit spy here. No, apparently not. 
can't recruit there. We can recruit a diplomat, actually. And you know what? I might do that. We haven't had a diplomat out in the field for a while. These guys are deciding that it is their time to attack again. Hmm. A little bit annoying. Might have to just gather up another sort of half army over here to deal with that. Let's get some axemen. Got anything good else we want to recruit? Just the Labeateans there, really. Can we recruit in here? Yeah, we can. Skodra is just that. And then I don't want to recruit in... Um, in Ryzon, but we will recruit in Epidauros, so let's get a Thurio Foroi, and then let's get another cavalry in there, and that should be plenty enough. Let's then have a look at what we are doing. Yeah, lots of, uh, wait. Oh yeah, that was that one. Okay, that makes sense. <laughs> Anything of interest here? Illyrian kingdoms are attacking us. Rome is now at war with Carthage. Good, very good indeed. That's going to keep them down in the south, and in Lissus we got the southern Illyrian boys. Then we also got that RDAI in recruitment too. Can't actually afford level three unless we cancel, say, that. Hmm. Although, is Lissos any good with level three? It's just the same as level two, I believe. Yeah, it's absolutely just the same as level two. However, it is prep for when we get to large city and we can, then we can recruit our own people. So, yeah, I mean... Still going to be a while before it gets to large city, so let's stick it in now. It's going to uh, take that building slot for a while. Yes. First of all, though, let's go for Optiger Optigerum with this small army. It's not the greatest of armies, but it is just garrison troops, pretty much. So we're going to try and use the sort of mercenaries, most of all, these guys. And I'm not going to zoom in in this battle, guys, because uh, we have the Naked Warriors and a YouTube Will not like it, so uh, do be warned that I'm not going to zoom in at all, really, in this battle. So we're going to be doing the battle from a bird's eye view. Let's go. I've got to say, oh my god, these skirmishers have absolutely destroyed the guys on the other side of the wall. That is insane. Right, let's just uh, hoard tactics our way through. Let's get in there. Should be able to destroy them pretty easily now. They're very, very damaged. These guys, let's fire your uh, your things at them. You guys get here. We do have Spear Warband here as well, which is quite helpful. Going to bring you guys into here too. You guys need to throw your javis, my friends. That would be helpful. And then what do we have on the town square? We've got a small unit of Northern Lyrian skirmish, uh, spearmen. Don't think there's going to be too much... Of a worry, to be honest. Look at that. Look at the Javis coming in again. Oh, my God. That's just insane. Right, guys. Get going. Get moving, my friends. Get moving. Don't think we need to worry about too much over here. So, you guys get there if you can. Come on, boys. Get going. And hopefully, we'll be engaged in combat soon. Hopefully, they won't. They'll stop running away. Well, we didn't have to wait too long, my friends. Too long. We are into the History Axe Cavalry, who are firing an absolute ton of javis at our Spear Warband, which is quite annoying. Can you stop firing them? Can you actually engage them, guys? That would be good. These guys should fall so quickly. They are basically, uh, you know, they have no armor. They have nothing. They've got nothing left. But uh, apparently they're not going to. Well, that's fine. We, uh, come on, guys. You speed up. God damn it. There we go. That should be enough. Good. Right. Now we're going to get close to these boys. Uh, maybe even closer. Maybe even not as close as that. And we're going to come here. Come on, boys. Let's speed this up. Don't need to take so long, my friends. Don't need to take so long. There we go. Should be able to fire now with your last javis. Same with you, boys. Get a bit further forward. You find it very hard. Oh, look at that. There we go. Nice. Mm, probably get a little bit closer. See if we can drag them off the town square. Now, these guys, I want you to fire at the Northern Illyrian Spearmen rather than anyone else. We've got two units on this town square here, which is quite annoying. But the Spearmen, well, both of them Spearmen, actually. Come on, guys. You've got more Javis than that. There we go. That gets rid of them. Now fire at them. And you guys have a Javi to fire as well. Good. 
Right, let's surround that unit and kill it. Should be uh, easy. Should have a war cry from both. No, we don't have a war cry from the uh, naked warriors. Very strange. Very strange. But there we go. Now on to the town square, my friends. We need to kill them. And you guys got your war cry in. Let's go kill them. Should be nice and easy now, surrounding them. Well, there we go, guys. In the end, it doesn't really matter, to be fair, how many uh, mercenaries we lost. Because, like I say, the more mercenaries we lose, the cheaper our garrisoning is going to be. So, it was kind of the idea to use the mercenaries mostly. But, uh, a good victory, nonetheless. Let's get off this battle map. And with Opitergium, I don't think it's a city size. Honestly... I'm kind of happy to just occupy it like that because we've got plenty garrisons around here to keep them happy. And it is just a large town. Can't build anything there at the moment. What does it have? Shrine of Ooh, which gives it uh, gives it some anti-corruption measures. But oh my god, we must be nearly max corruption in that settlement. That is not ideal, <laughs> I've got to say. Anyway, that's fine. Can we recruit any more of these guys? Nope. Fortunately not, we spent all of our cash. Are you just hiding or are you moving? Good. Right then. Well, I don't think there's anything else we can do this turn. So, yeah, let's end the turn here. And let's see what happens with the Dardanians. Don't like this big splodge in the middle of our land. It would be nice to, uh, to build a watchtower around here. You've got plenty of movement points. Hopefully, watchtower worthy. Oh, we don't have the money, do we? <laughs> well, anyway, let's uh, end the turn, guys. Well, the Allobrogues want an alliance. Their only enemy is the Insubres. I'm happy to take oh, this. Thanks. It might put us to war with the Insubres, but honestly, I'm not too bothered. I don't think that's going to be too bad. Well, we have another candidate for adoption. He is Phil Helos. Helenos. Um, but he's a poor farmer. I mean, I will accept him. We need all the generals we can get. And, of course, even if they are a poor farmer right now, they can become a good one. Uh, maybe not a good farmer, but a good governor nonetheless. So, wasn't someone going into one of these? Yeah, both of you. So, I think the next one should go to Sermion. So, where are you, my friend, Ryzon? Let's go to Sermion up there. No, that's the wrong one. Up to Sermion. <laughs> that would be better. And this time, let's actually build a watchtower over here. There we go. Less annoying. <laughs> now we can actually see. Would, like I say, be nice to have some watchtowers on this edge now that we're all the way down here. That should be fine. This one, I'm really not bothered about these guys. They, they're only, um, whatever this is, Thurio Foroi Cavalry. And this army is a trash army like we saw before. But unless the Dardanians have some special reserve settlement somewhere, they're going to die in the next two turns. Or, or the next turn, actually, once we've killed this guy. 96 kills. Really? This is a tiny settlement as well. I'm going to move these guys to the front so that the... The other guys stopped dying so much. There we go. And we're going to move straight across. I'm going to leave that settlement for now. We're going to find a garrison for it. Don't worry about that at all, guys. And in fact, it is happy already. Good. Fantastic. So then we're going to take the garrison from here. You're going to go into Thunatia Polis. And this garrison here, you're going to move along to Dardanopolis. Cool. So that is this area done, and that should be the Dardanians dead next turn. These armies are all going to become rebels, but I do want to send this army back for retraining uh, very, very quickly. Maybe to even fight the Illyrian Kingdom. I mean, do we have enough now? I mean, it's not, not out of the realms of possibility to beat this army, is it? I mean, it's not a great... We don't have a great army here, but... They also do not have a great army either. Hmm. Might have to go and try that, actually. That would probably be a good idea, wouldn't it? Right then, let's uh, let's split some of these garrisons up. You guys, with your after your glorious, glorious campaign up here, you are going to finally get time 
to leave. Now, I really hope you don't get killed. Looks like the Bernie are going to help us out with a bit of blockading. But yeah, that would be very annoying if these guys got killed. Next, we're going to go all the way up to here. Where is our spy in this region? Right, you are there. History still have those two settlements and they still have these two. They've got to have one in the north somewhere, surely. Surely. Otherwise, they wouldn't have taken that settlement. So we are going to have come and have a look. Yes, they have this, which we really don't want to take because that's going to put it to war with the boy eye, potentially. Hmm. Very strange. Very strange. I mean, we could just fort wall off this area if they do decide to do that. Agron now has a battlefield runner, which is fantastic. Got a uh, Genthios becoming an attuned governor. And that is everything, really. Oh, yes, we've got our spy and everything over this way. Glorious. Well, we're going to send you around over here to actually see what's going on. That is the Adrissians right there. Now, we are allied with the Adrissians. How long that will last now? Probably not very long. Um, so, yeah. No, we're not allied with them, actually. I thought we were allied with them. Hmm. Very demanding. Well, looks like we're going to war with the Adrissians, guys. This is the problem with this expansion in these areas. Like, it's just so messy. There's no natural borders, really. And the AI will just attack you. So, could really do with the Pionians. Like, if I gave the Pionians that settlement, would that make them happy? Where where did I stick my uh, diplomat then? You're there. Can we get to the Pionians, potentially? Are you Pionians? You're Liberni. Maidy, Sparta. Trapezus? <laughs> well, I'm not bothered about talking to Trapezus, honestly. Uh, well, let's go Welcome, and sir. talk to the Pionians. So, oh no, that was Idarva, though, wasn't it? Yeah, I'm not going to sell that. I'm sorry, I'm not going to sell that, guys. That is a horse archer producing settlement out here. So, um... Yeah, absolutely not going to go anywhere near selling that settlement. No way at all. Right, up to Jerium. Let's actually make you into a bit of a, uh, an economic hub. So, yeah, let's build that in there. You're still building. You're still building. And you are still building. Are we building along here, potentially? No. Do have roads in there, though, now. So let's build roads all the way along here. You have roads, I just can't see them. What about here? Yeah, you don't have roads. This needs all repairs. Okay, no problem. Let's build that there as well. And then in Feltria, are we still building? We are. Fantastic. Well, I think that's very good. Hmm. This is just such a mess, man. This is just such a mess. I hate looking over here. I hate these messy borders. And if the, you know, the if, if the Adrissians attack us, then the borders are just going to be horrendous. Like, our kingdom is not going to make any sense. It's going to, like, just go in a line across here like that. <laughs> oh, I would, oh, please don't attack us. Please don't attack us, Adrissia. Please. Please. I don't think they're going to listen, guys, are they? I do not think that they are going to listen. <laughs> but anyway... Um, let's do some building. I don't think there's anything else for us to do. Is there? No. Let's do some building. I've been waffling on again. Rise on. Let's just go, like, from the middle, like, Pharos. We don't, like, most of these areas don't really have anything to build, though. It's more the sort of new conquests that do. Ambilicum doesn't. Dardanapolis doesn't. Uh, you're building, uh, Durnion over here. Yeah, no, no, not worth it there. Autoria Typolis. I mean, you do have some kind of longer roads up to the river there. I just don't think it's really worth it. Although you do make a lot of money. So yeah, let's, uh, let's put that in. Probably going to be worth it in the long run. Um, Metalum out here. Again, probably not worth building any of those for now. Uh, Paraistopolis, probably, again, not really worth it. Meteon, maybe worth building the paved roads. But I think we can build better things. Like, Sarota here definitely got some better options. In the far north, let's build the tavern for that growth and happiness. Ratinium, that would also be quite a good one for the paved roads. Because you are quite a big 
area. So let's build that. And then Plurati Polis. Let's go for the Inland Trade Center. That should help out with the trade here. 135, not bad at all. Well, guys, let's end the turn again. And again, let's see where we get to. Well, here goes with them taking this settlement back again. But uh, yeah, whatever. <laughs> I really don't care about the Illyrian Kingdom right now. Just go away. Just leave us alone. You cannot leave us alone, can you? Well, there we go. Another turn done, my friends. And the Dardanians are just proving how dumb they really are. They are incredibly dumb. Let's uh, just enslave Damastion. That leaves Dardania dead. Do we have enough here to kill this army? I mean, it's it's pretty much all um, slingers, if I remember. But again, we probably don't quite have enough to deal with that as of yet. We will come back, though, to deal with them if needs be. This is also a very nice, ready amount of troops. Um, yeah, it's... A, it's a nice, ready amount of garrison troops for our next expansions, wherever they may be. So we're going to go this way, and we're going to bring you across here. I'm also going to put both of you guys into there as the final two units. And we are going to walk back towards safety or our homeland, whatever one you want to say. You guys are going to come across this way too as sort of the front of our expansion over this way and yeah i really just don't know what to do here like paonia is our protectorate they're doing fine they still have sirius don't know how that's happened i wouldn't mind taking like the maidy and the dental Arte out down this way they are very poor settlements though and it's just going to provide more borders with the bessie and the adrissians like honestly i'm happy with this border like this border is fine so it might be the case of attacking the score Disky again and just cleaning them up. They're just such a big entity, though. I think, honestly, all hands on deck to take out the uh, uh, to take out the history and then the Laburni is probably going to be the option. Uh, Tragurion has expanded. Glorious! Now another another city. Very nice. Land of the cities. We are going to be a gloriously large nation very soon. Like I say, sometimes, guys, you get a few episodes where you get tons of big battles and all that sort of thing. This one, less. these last few episodes, less so. But we are going to get to the point where, uh, you know, we are going to be having some monster battles in the future uh, against the Romans and the Greeks, I would assume. So it is just building up and... The reason why we aren't attacking them yet is because of our recruitment capability. It's so, so low. And it's going to take forever to actually build it up. Uh, and I quite like, I quite enjoy this uh, this building up aspect of, uh, of these sorts of videos. But uh, I know not everyone does. So uh, it's completely understandable if you don't. Um, so yeah, you guys are still happy. You're going to come. Actually, we don't need all of them, do we? Hmm. I think we'll take, like, you, you, and you can go up into the north because we're going to take both of these settlements. Or we're going to fort wall. I don't know. Maybe we'll just fort wall the history. Keep them alive as sort of a punching bag for later down the line. Right. Ships are still alive. They're not dead yet. We can actually get into there. So that is good. Which of these units would need retraining in the Greek clans? Actually, all of these units pretty much need retraining at Ryzon. What do we need, though? If we sort these guys out, we've got two hoplites, spearmen, axemen, skirmishers. We need cavalry and more sort of uh, maybe some epibartai. So I think we'll go for some epibartai here. Maybe... Four units of Epibartai. Let's go for that. It's not going to put us below. Nope. Good. And then more cavalry. So I'm going to get some Prodromoy in there. And some Southern Illyrian cavalry. We already have a Southern Illyrian cavalry. That's going to put us in good stead anyway to maybe build up a fourth army. 
But yeah, it's just a mess around here, isn't it? It's a very horrible mess, and I hate messy borders. <laughs> God damn it, man. God damn it. Right, Nestos. Let's uh, let's build the roads in Nestos. Probably going to be quite good. Uh, Narenzopolis is actually a perfect one for the roads because that is a transitionary um, place. Hedham, probably not worth it. Let's just build the tavern. And then, yeah, I don't think there's anything else unless we've got anywhere down here. Maybe Damastion. Ah, well, that, that is the settlement we just took over, isn't it? Let's make sure you're down on low. Same with you guys. Make sure you're all on low. Good. Right then. Fantastic. Let us end the turn one more time. Like I say, probably another building episode today. But uh, I do think we probably will have another couple of battles, maybe. We shall see. We shall see. Okay. The Idrissians are offering us an alliance, even though when we offered it, it was very demanding. Oh, thanks. 100% going to uh, accept that. That is amazing. Uh, can we not become their protector? But anyway, that is fantastic. And the Trebali are going to attack us, guys. Oh, thanks. <laughs> They've got no enemies. How? How have the Scordisci not attacked you or someone? Really? That is just dumb, bro. Bloody hell, it's it's like a uh, it's a party over here for alliances with us, but uh, they are enemies with the Adrissians, so no, we are not going to accept that. Well then, it did sound like we just had someone come of age. There we go. Plarens the RDA Ayun. Two commands. Nice. So, uh, unreliable, selfish, and pessimistic. Minus one morale for the troops. That's another minus morale, but he's well supplied, he's useful, he's sober, he's positive, careful. Wait, it says he's pessimistic. How is he pessimistic and positive? <laughs> That's interesting. Careful with money, poor farmer, natural born leader. I think we've got to have him as uh, a commander, honestly. He's probably going to go and join up in Lissos to command the next army that we are putting together over here. It's a little army at the moment, but it will become a large army at some point. These are all AOR troops, so so Epidauros is the option for the Greeks. So let's go here. So yeah, Epidauros is for the Greeks, and then it will be what? Daoson for the rest of the troops? I believe so. Let's in fact continue our recruitment over this way. More of those. Epidauros. You can get more Thurioforoi. Glorious. Um, and then our troops here. These troops are all going to rise on and some to Epidauros. So let's get the ones going to Epidauros off first. They can't actually get in there this turn. Well, that's going to be annoying, isn't it? Uh, and then the rest of you can go to Rise on. Fantastic. So we've got two armies basically retraining now. No way that those are going to be uh, completely mixed up by the end of this. Altenum has upgraded to the first level. Let's go for the second level. Are you still building? You are. Patavium? Yep. Fantastic. As long as these, all of these settlements are building at the moment, that is going to be good. I, I, I am honestly thinking about going for the gold mining complex, but 735 corruption is honestly insane. So we need this to, to, to grow, really, before it becomes worth building anything economic in there. Um, so let's have a look. Damastion over here. I wonder what the corruption's like there. Not bad at all. Really not bad. So yeah, that's probably worth it in Damastion. So yeah, let's, uh, let's do that there. And then this settlement, let's go for that. Yeah, all of these probably not worth anything again. Okay, no problem. So what do we have? We've got this settlement here, which we're going to auto-resolve. 24. Let's enslave that. Oh, we've still got this guy. With his five influence. Oh, no, it's not this guy. This guy, Sophion. You are going to govern one of these cities. Whichever one's bigger. A test day. <laughs> Poor guy. He got dragged out on a war that he didn't want to be part of. <laughs> There we go. Fantastic. Well, we'll take a test date. And then, yeah. I mean, there's two options here, right? We can go and take this. Which is going to put us bordering the Boyai in the north. Which we really don't want to do. 
Oh, wait. The history have taken this settlement now as well. Hmm. Well, we could kind of just leave the history be and just let them let them live their lives, man. <laughs> let them enjoy themselves. Well, uh, let's get you guys in there for now. Honestly, I think we attack this settlement. That's going to be a big battle because there's a lot of troops involved in this. Let's send you guys to there. Not too happy, not going to lie. And then let's send two of you onwards. So yeah, I think we are going to take out the history up here then. And then we'll probably fort wall these passes. So there's this pass and this pass. And that's it. So yeah, they should be easy to fort wall. These settlements we can kind of... Maybe just even let them go rebel. That would probably be the option. Let's make sure we pop that in before I forget about it. Uh, anything else of interest that was built that turn? Narona actually... Yeah, we can't upgrade that. We can, in fact, though, upgrade the barracks. So, is that going to help us, though? Yeah, it's going to allow Thurio Foroy. So, let's do that. There we go. I think we're I think we're in a really nice spot. I feel comfortable for the first time in quite a while in this uh, sort of... In the situation we're in. Um, I think you guys go in there first. And then we're going to have to cancel one of the buildings. So let's cancel that so we know. You're going to be upgraded soon. Do need to remember that, but that's fine. And then, yeah, I think we're... I think we're good now. You guys actually need to go all the way over that way. So we've got to remember about that one. Cool. Right then. It's a bit messy. There's a lot going on. But, um... Yeah, I think we're okay. I definitely do want to leave one army in the east. Whether that's to attack the Scordisci, to attack the Maidi, the, the Dental Arte, anything like that. Yeah, I think we do leave one army in the east. Hmm, maybe even to attack the Illyrian Kingdom, probably, is going to be the option there. But the other army is going to go towards the Laburni. And once this army up here, led by Bardalis, uh, is going to take out these two settlements then we should be absolutely peachy and ready to go against the great horde of Liburnians over here. So let's end the turn again, guys. Another building up turn. Well, another turn has passed and the uh, history are at it again. They are sieging down this settlement. Not really too bothered about that. I don't think that's going to be much of an issue. Hmm, these guys are actually happy now. Good. Even after they've destroyed literally everything. Um, so yeah, that's the only place that was rioting. Uh, and then the Illyrian Kingdom, surprisingly enough, have gone after Skodra rather than anywhere else. But yeah, <laughs> it's fine. Ah, <laughs> oh, yes. Very good. I do enjoy some of the, uh, the funniness with the AI sometimes. Right, so everything apart from one of these units was part of this army, Agron's army. Which Agron's army is going for retraining at Dawason, I believe. Now, can we retrain everything here? Everything apart from the Northern Illyrian Cavalry, which I actually have no idea where we recruited them from. This is the issue here. <laughs> hey, they can be recruited there. So let's get them up to Satovia. Tova, should I say. And then with these guys, Agron's army, you're going to join in there. So, yes. Also, Southern Illyrian skirmishers. They, oh, they are getting retrained here. Okay, yeah. Then there was one more unit, and then we were going to give it some slingers, weren't we? So, we're going to give it four slingers. Right then. Cool. Oh, no, it had four slingers. Right. Okay. The four slingers are for <laughs> a rated Darmas's army. Like I say, it's not going to be confusing doing this, guys. <laughs> not going to be confusing at all. Right. Let's have a look. How painful is this going to be? Ryzen's on 4,217 people. Let's see what happens after we've uh, uh, actually uh, retrained everyone here. Uh, we can actually meld you, and that is it. So let's have a look. Oh! <laughs> it's 400 people. 
Do you know how long it takes to get 400 people at 2% growth? Oh, no. Oh, that is, that is, that is absolutely filthy. I am not happy with that at all. <laughs> oh, that is, that is just infuriating, man. <laughs> But anyway, we're going to have to be very careful with those units, I'll say. Uh, we have been recruiting around and about, though. So we are close to actually getting together another army. What I'm going to do with this supposed other army is move to Ulkinion. Mm, you guys are getting an extra unit. That's fine. You can go to Ulkinion, too. And then that's close to getting another army together. I mean, obviously, these slingers are for this army, right? Yeah, they are for Array to Darmos. Although, also, the cavalry was too, to be honest. Um, but that's fine. Right, we do have a battle ready to go. Clarence was the guy that we were going to get to lead the armies, wasn't he? So, yeah, let's uh, pop across to here. There we go. Let's also just check all of this stuff. Construction reports and everything. First, we actually have now built up in Akuminion and then Sermion. We're going to have to build that next time. Same with Idava. Although, why are we building that? Oh, yes, we're building that in Idava because we can get horse archers. What level can we get horse archers? Can we get them? Oh, my God. We can get them level two, man. <laughs> oh, I've not played with horse archers for so long. I'm getting excited, guys. Horse archer doom stacks are coming to Rome. <laughs> I'm going to destroy Rome with horse archers. Yes, 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 yes. <laughs> yes. Or Macedon. Either way, it will be funny. <laughs> right, let's uh, get into this battle. We don't have the greatest of armies, but uh, neither do they. So um, the big five naked warriors have been holding the fort, but let's go. <laughs> Well, here we go, guys. A lot of their units are, like, sort of slingery units, that sort of thing. But um, we also have a lot of javelin men. I'm using the Southern Illyrian uh, Levy as a javelin unit, too. So, yeah, that's not a problem. Uh, and, yeah. It's awesome that the Lebeotean Light Infantry, if we have a look at them, their stats are not terrible. 11 melee attack for a light infantry. They're classed as a light infantry, not a skirmisher unit, even though they are pretty much a skirmisher unit. And they have war cry. I just think that's so cool, man. War cry for those boys. Right, let's get even closer. It's going to be a bit annoying dealing with some of these boys. Um, like, their, their cavalry especially. So I'm going to hide my cavalry and hope that we can get everyone with our javies. Because, yeah, dealing with these guys is going to be quite the annoyance. Like, all of this is like skirmishes, so what are we going to do, man? We're going to have to use our light infantry for this. Obviously, that General Manunios, he needs to die. But, yeah, this is actually going to be a lot more annoying than I thought. I thought they had more than one infantry unit. You guys all fight them. I'm going to use the light infantry now to try and flank them with our... Uh, flank them with the missiles, should we say. Oh, no. There goes the uh, the general. Well, that's cue for us to engage the general. Because we need to get him away from our light infantry. Because they are going to be awful against the general himself. So, yeah. 18 men versus our 13 men. Hopefully, we can do a bit of damage. We did a bit of damage on the charge. Looks like we can, char we can fire at them. Because they are going to charge as well. They are project. You fired the wrong way, you idiots! What are you doing, man? Oh my god, man. The cavalry is just absolutely eating us for breakfast, bro. Come on, guys. This is a nightmare. Rally the men. Oh, they've all gone. They've all gone. No. Well, at least we have some infantry that are actually holding. The Illyrian noble spearmen are absolutely savaging us, though, here. But look at the look at the 304 just dying, bro. Just dying. There goes his general who's dying. So I'd like you to turn. Should be able to kill this uh, Southern Illyrian cavalry. We've seen how bad they are. They are not good. But this poor unit, still steady. Fair play. Let's rally the men just in case. But this is going terribly. There we go. Kill the progeny. You were turned the wrong way, guys. You were turned the wrong way. <laughs> 
Don't think this Southern Illyrian Levy is going to be able to stand up to them too well. Okay, how are, we getting, how are we getting killed here? What's going on? Bro, looks like we're going to lose this, man. You guys turn around. Fight the Southern Illyrian Skirmishers. This Illyrian Noble Spearman has absolutely shredded us. Absolutely shredded us. How many men left in their general? Five. Right. And we're still fresh. They're winded. I think we can have a good shot at killing him. Let's go for it. This is just a blob now. This is the great blob. Okay, that that's our Thurio Foroy, really. God, this Illyrian Noble Spearman is so strong, bro. We need our Axemen into them, really, rather than the Southern Illyrian Skirmishers. How are we doing here? Three versus six. We should win that. Greek Slingers versus the Lebeateans. So what we're going to do is try and get him to fire his jabbies, which he should be able to do. And that's going to ruin him. Come on, guys. Six of us still. Kill them. It's two versus one. And that is our general dueling his general. <laughs> oh, my God. I did not think this would be this painful. Fair play, AI. You have absolutely pulled my pants down here. Especially with the noble spearmen. Absolutely savage, bro. Well, once we've got this uh, Illyrian skirmishers out of the way... Come on. How long does it take to kill these three men? There we go. Okay. There we go. Now it's six versus two. Should be a lot easier. There we go, Lebeateans. Okay, finally, we are back. Uh, <laughs> winning where we should be, let's say. <laughs> oh, God. Well, this was uh, this was painful, man. Oh, my God. How long has it taken, you guys? How many hits, hit points do these guys have? Bro, these guys must have an insane amount of hit points. Yeah, fire. There we go. Right, the Axeman, this is your job. The Illyrian Noble Spearmen, we don't even have the chance to even, um... Like, we don't even have the ability to recruit those guys at this point. So, um, yeah, I want you to, to fire your missiles, and I want the Axemen to fire. Where are they going, bro? Who are they pursuing? Oh, they're going, they're going. Oh, my God. What a brutal battle. Honestly, I'm just going to end it there, because that was so brutal. <laughs> <laughs> they definitely pulled our pants down. They inflicted a lot more casualties than us. Oh, dear. <laughs> terrible, terrible results there. Terrible. Well, anyway, let's get uh, back off this cursed battle map onto uh, the campaign map. Well, what do we do with this army then? Because half of it, well, it all needs retraining, really, doesn't it? Um, well, two of you can get retrained there. So let's go with that. Then I'm thinking, like, the rest of you can go, like, just move along this way for now. It might allow them to attack somewhere, but honestly, I'm not that bothered. I'm really not that bothered. <laughs> the Illyrian Kingdom are just a distraction. They're just like a plaything at this point. It's like, we don't want to take you out because by doing that, we're going to go to war with Macedon. But at the same time, you're just an annoyance. <laughs> Your constant attacks are quite annoying, sir. Uh, right then. Well, I think what we're going to do, guys, is we're going to do this battle at the start of next episode. I'm going to keep this episode relatively short just because it has predominantly just been sort of a build-up episode. Uh, building up our forces, coming back for retraining. But I do feel like we're in a pretty nice, confident spot here now. It's a bit annoying that the Adrissians are so, uh, so close, um, but yeah, um, yeah, it's not scary at all. It's just more annoying, these borders, because I know the AI is going to attack us, and by doing that, they're just going to force us to go to war in places that we don't want to go to war in, <laughs> like, like, and the only way to stop war, because diplomacy is so bad in Rome Total War, is to destroy the faction. So, yeah, or wait for them to come to us, which doesn't really happen unless you've taken a few of their settlements. Like, I would, I would have, I would like to stay here with these borders. Like, this is fine, but I just know, uh, apart from obviously coming down into Rome or going this way into Greece, but I just know we're gonna get stretched far and wide now. <laughs> Hopefully, we have our recruitment situation sorted by then. That is also why we need to keep upgrading these roads. So that we can move through this region a lot quicker. 
between like sort of up here or down here, cross this way, or potentially just build AOR based armies in these regions, uh, especially Idar, but that would be fantastic. But anyway, guys, thank you for watching. If you did enjoy, a like and a subscribe would be massively appreciated. It really does help the channel out. And I will see you all again on the next video.